Hey Jack, what are we gonna draw today? A snowboarder. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. Paper. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. Now if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need extra time to finish a step. Now we're first gonna start by drawing our snowboarder's head and we're gonna draw it right in the middle of our paper but towards the top and we're gonna draw a U. All right, so we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw this big U and I'm also going to draw it tipped just a little bit to the right, but draw it in the middle, but towards the top. Yeah. Good job. Now we're going to connect the top. We're going to draw a line that connects the left side over to the right. Then we're going to draw our snowboarders goggles and we're going to draw them really big. We're going to draw a big line that comes down and we're going to come up in the middle, back down, and then curve back up at the top. Now we're gonna draw the frame of his goggles. So we're gonna repeat that same shape. We're gonna draw another line that comes across the top. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw the same crazy shape that comes down over his nose, back down around his eye, and then connect back up to the top. Cool, now let's draw his helmet. We're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw a big curve that comes over the top and then connects down over to the other side. Okay, now let's give him some crazy hair. Now this is where our art friends can change and customize their drawings. I'm gonna draw a little zigzag that comes down the left side and a zigzag, zigzag down the right side. And if you want, you could also draw really long hair. Okay, now let's draw our snowboarder's mouth. We're gonna draw a straight line that comes across like that. And then I'm gonna draw his mouth open because he's doing some cool trick. So, ah! Yeah, just, just like that. Then we're gonna draw a line coming back. And then I'm also gonna draw his teeth showing up on the top. So we're gonna draw a short line down and then connect over to the right side. And then I'm also gonna draw another line right here and we can color in his mouth. Now let's add another short line right above his mouth for his nose. And we could also add details on his helmet. So I'm gonna draw a U shape that comes down, across, and then back up. Square U shape. And I'm gonna add in two more of those, one on each side. So one over here, and then also one on the left side. All right, now let's draw his body. We're first gonna draw his arm coming down and holding on to a snowboard. So we're gonna draw a big upside down U. It's gonna start here, we're gonna come up, touch his chin, and then come back down. Now it might look a little weird at first, but it's gonna look awesome when we're all done. Okay, now we're gonna draw the snowboard, and we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna connect across the bottom of his arm. So we're first gonna draw a straight line that connects just like that. I know it's a little weird, but it's gonna look cool when we're all done. Okay. Yeah, so the left side you can make a little longer so that his snowboard is pointed towards the bottom. Yeah, that looks cool. And if you need to, you can come in and connect his arm. All right, let's finish the shape of his snowboard. So we're gonna draw another line that's right next to it, parallel. So I'm gonna draw another line that comes up like this. Yeah, and then on each side, we're gonna connect the top to the bottom with a curve. There's one end, and then we're gonna draw another one over here on this side. Cool, all right, now let's draw his glove that's hanging onto the snowboard. So we're gonna draw a U, just like that. And if we want, we can add three little lines for his fingers. All right, now let's draw his feet. We're gonna draw an upside down U, one over here, and I'm also gonna draw another one over here on this side. All right, now let's draw his legs. We're gonna draw the bottom of his pants first. So we're gonna draw a straight line that comes up, curves over his foot, and back down. Let's do the same thing over here, but this one I'm gonna aim towards his, his arm. So we're going diagonal, then we're gonna go down, and then we can connect it into the snowboard. This is the bottom of his pants. And we could also draw one more wrinkle. We're gonna draw another one that comes, I'm gonna go up and then diagonal back down. 
almost like an A shape. And we can do that same thing on this side over here. Yeah, cool. All right, now let's draw his leg. We're gonna draw a curve, an upside down U, that's gonna come up, touch his arm, and then curve back around and end. That's his knee. The top of his knee is up by his shoulder. Then we're gonna draw his leg connecting into his arm. So we're gonna draw coming in about halfway up his arm. So it's about halfway. Yeah, and then down here, we're gonna draw the bottom of his leg coming down and connecting to his arm also. And then right here, we're gonna imagine this line going behind his arm and then connecting to his leg. Cool, all right, now let's draw his body. We're gonna draw the front of his chest and it connects up to his chin. And then we're gonna draw his back and it's a curved line, comes right into his leg. Now let's draw his right arm and it's gonna come out from his chin. It's gonna curve around and then back into his body. Now let's draw his wrist or the end of his coat and where his glove starts. Then we can draw his thumb and we're gonna draw a small U inside of his arm. And then we can draw those little, those three little lines for his fingers. So one, two, and then I'm gonna draw the third one over here. He's looking really cool. Let's add a few more details. I'm gonna draw a zipper that's coming down the front of his chest. Then we can also draw his hood sticking out the back over here. So I'm gonna draw a curve that comes around and back in to his jacket. Now let's draw another line right here on his wrist and also over here on this arm for his other wrist. Let's draw a line going down the side of his jacket, the side of his arm. And then I'm also gonna draw that line curving back into his knee. All right, dude, we did it. We finished drawing our snowboarder. He turned out awesome, except he's gonna look even cooler once we do wood. Color him. Yeah, we gotta color him. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. All right, Jack, good job, man. You did it. You finished coloring your snowboarder and it turned out awesome. Did you have fun? Yeah. I like all the customization you did. You had a lot of fun putting that stripe in there. Yeah. And you guys at home can use your imagination to color and add extra details to your own drawing. Now, one other thing that you added was this extra line right here. I didn't put it in mine, but you had an extra space right here and you drew in his waist. That helped so that you could color his jacket orange down to his pants. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your snowboarders. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And don't forget to finish your drawings by adding a background. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.